When you are preparing for the GATE exam, you must know the answer to these three questions. What to prepare, how to prepare and why to prepare. Okay. The first question we have already discussed in the first episode of this series and the link will be in the description box where we discussed like on the basis of past, on the basis of cutoff in the last 10 to 12 years, marks distribution, subject wise marks distribution and topper marks. So you can decide which subjects you want to prepare. Okay. So the first problem is solved. Now the second question how to prepare so we will give the answer to this question in this video okay but like before we jump on to the direct resources i will say when you're preparing for the gate exam there are a number of options one is that you can go with a self-study and the second one you can go with the alternate like coaching centers and online coaching centers type of thing okay so both the options are okay today with the resources that are available they will help you in both the options okay self-study or you will say uh, the coaching centers or everything okay so we have classified these resources on the basis of online resources and offline resources okay so we will discuss them one by one before pandemic people mostly rely on the coaching centers but in the last two to two to two and a half years we have seen like there are a lot of new resources available online also so you can prepare for the gate exam from home also and one of the best option which is like old is gold type of story that is NAPTEL. So NAPTEL is a platform uh, which is uh, normally organized and the videos are uploaded by the professors of IITs and IAC. You have to think about like the, these are the same professors who are going to make the paper and these are the same people who are giving lectures online and which is also free of cost. So we have to understand this is one of the best option to prepare for the gate exam. Okay and they are free of course, they are available on YouTube, they are available on the official NAPTEL website and one more advanced thing about this NAPTEL is that they also provide the PDF. Okay, so after the video you can download the PDF also for like future reference or you just want to go through the some specific video, some specific content, you can access that PDF part also. So it's like a win-win thing for the NAPTEL, free of cost and it's very efficient. Choice is yours. But I always recommend go with the NAPTEL, especially if you are preparing with the self-study. Okay. The second option is our own website, which is thefortunist.in. We have recently launched our website with uh, handwritten notes. Okay. We, uh, in the last, like when I was preparing in the last eight, seven to eight years back. So from that time to till now, I modified the content. I used all type of resources. I used the NAPTEL. I used the uh, official websites, also some different websites. Okay, I use the booklets and everything and finally uh, we conducted everything and put condensed everything and put it in the form of handwritten notes. So we classified them as quick revision notes and detailed handwritten notes. So quick means if you just like uh, a subject is in on four to five pages, you just go through it. Okay, within uh, 15 minutes, you can revise the whole subject. Okay, that's how it is. And second is the detailed handwritten notes. Go through it. Uh, our website is www.thefortunates.in. The link will be in the description box. Go through it and have a look. We have already sold 800 plus copies so far. Okay. Which is an achievement. <laughs> okay. So this is our second option that you can prepare when we are talking about online resources. Third option is there are some platforms like an academy or those places also. You can go through that one. Although I am not in directly direct favor of all these things. Because in online, there is one problem that people get confused. You have seen like nowadays we have a lot of YouTubers, educator on YouTube also. We have educators on an academy type of platform. More the options, more you will get confused. You will never get an idea which specific person you have to follow. So my suggestion is search, okay? Who is, the, who is one of the famous educator uh, right now on the internet? Just follow that specific person, wherever that person is. Okay, this is our third option uh, that you can use as an online platform for the gate preparation. Finally, the last one is you already know that you have the concept that you can watch through the NAPTEL to our handwritten notes through the educator. But this is not sufficient. You need mock tests also. Okay, so I have seen recently NAPTEL has also launched the mock test for the students free of cost. Okay, you just have to register and you can access the mock test. I don't know for now that if chemical engineering is available or not, but they have launched NAPTEL gate platform for the students who are preparing for the gate at free of cost. 
just have a look i think uh, chemical engineering might be there and might not be there i'm a little confused with that one okay and finally there, but there is one more option which is known as unitoperations.com this is one of the popular website i used to have ex have the access because in 2014 15 it was free of cost so i had the access to the whole website and it was good out of 100 questions you will feel like 95 96 questions are correct okay so you will have the proper access to the website and they have made the access in the form like we usually have the gate paper okay you just have to pay approximately 1200 rupees and you will have the access for the one whole year and they cover all the gate questions all the way from 1990 to 2022 okay so you will have every single question in just 1150 rupees i feel like it's okay i mean it's not a bad deal you can talk to your friends and together you can purchase this membership and you can have the access for one whole year so which is like a good deal if you are talking about unitoperations.com okay it's like some people say like it's not that good but in my personal opinion out of 196 questions 95 questions are correct so i think this much is fine for me so we discussed four online options the first one is the naptel the best one we have our own handwritten notes that you can download in the pdf format third one is the naptel gate okay but little like i'm 50 50 right now whether it's for chemical engineers or not and finally we have the unitoperation.com which we can use for the mock test only there are no concepts on this there are mock tests uh, yes i would like to add one more thing here because nowadays because of this online platform thing every single coaching center have their own mock test also but the opinion is different for different coaching centers like everyone is saying ewi is good made easy uh, sorry uh, i will say this uh, the gate coach is also good one institute is also good so i don't know which should i recommend you for now i am little confused because everyone is doing fine job at in the in the form of uh, mock tests but these are some of the platforms that you can use for when you prepare for the gate using the online platform okay now the second option is the offline i always go with the offline offline is the best option you can use your brain because in the online what happens you always look for the answer you never think about the answer you always like okay what is mass transfer i just have to search it man you don't think about like let's let me give it a try let me think myself what should be the answer to the this specific question we just directly jump on to the solution that's why i don't like the online platform mostly okay i always like the offline platform so offline means i will say coaching centers are good i don't have any specification because coaching center for chemical engineers are not everywhere so i will say they are good like uh, place to place it varies okay a south indian from tamil nadu a person cannot come to delhi to attend the coaching center right so it varies from place to place so i don't have any specific recommendation for the coaching centers but there are other options also like the booklets okay so uh, in the case of booklet i will first recommend amso pro like when we talk about online unitoperation.com is there with all the solutions and there you can practice the calculator how to use the calculator and you can attend attempt the gate paper also but in the offline if you want to go amsubu is the best option and in amsubu also they have like two options like one is the booklet from 1990 to 2001 and the second booklet is from 2001 to 2018 both are good but still i always say if you have time definitely solve the first booklet which is from 1990 to 2001 this is my personal experience that the questions during that time were really really good within one specific question you will learn lot of concepts because at that at that time there were not no, nothing like uh, mult, uh, ml ms mcq questions there was like you have to solve the whole question right so there were some lengthy lengthy question one one page uh, solutions were also there so once you will uh, solve those question then you will realize how good you are with the concept so it's my personal recommendation please solve that specific booklet those specific questions from any way you will get okay so this these these questions will definitely give you a lot of confidence when you will sort it out so the first option and so book two booklets 1990 2001 another one is 2001 to 2018 okay the second one is the mathematics so in the mathematics i recommend made easy okay without any doubt 
made easy has the best booklet for the mathematics even for the aptitude also because they in the case of mathematics they include all the questions of uh, mechanical engineer electrical engineer computer science civil electronics and communication i think so they have five to six streams that they have included them in the coaching in the coaching and because of which they have every single question so you will have a variety of questions with number of questions to prepare for one specific concept and this booklet is not about just numericals they have the concept also first concept then numerical concept numerical so this booklet is good if you are preparing for mathematics and aptitude by made easy and i have also heard like recently made easy has also included the chemical engineering too like they have recently launched one booklet uh, which has all the questions all the way from 2001 to 2022 so they have every single question and they have this booklet so that's why i'm little uh, I, I, I went through the website also and they are providing the online uh, coaching also for the chemical engineers so i think made easy has now included the chemical engineering in their coaching center okay but for now i don't have any specific reviews about that booklet so i can't recommend for now but yes it's an option because I trust made easy mathematics, so definitely I think this this uh, the second booklet can also be uh, a good book. But still, let me know your reviews uh, in the comment box that how good or bad is the made easy chemical engineering booklet is. Okay. So uh, then another one is the O P Gupta and Ram Prasad. You heard about these two books, right? O P Gupta and Ram Prasad. So these two books are like heavy books. Okay. They're really thick books. But the problem with that is these books are only for those students who have just started preparing for the game. Okay, if you have a grip on concept, don't waste your time in reading these books. I mean, they're good. I'm not saying they're bad. It's just about there are a lot of questions. One specific chapter, there are like 600 to 700 questions. How much time do you have? They, they, are, they, are, they have questions like, what is the dimensionless number for inertial force to the viscous force? These type of simple questions are there. So it's like H.C. Verma, you remember? Easy questions, then slowly average questions, then the tough questions. The same way is this uh, O.P. Gupta. Ram Prasad is also the same. Same, same. Okay, but I recommend these booklets only for the students who are preparing or just started preparing for the gate exam. Okay, if you don't have a proper grip on the concept that you can use these booklets. And in this offline mode, one last option is again our handwritten notes because we are providing our handwritten notes just not as like online resource, but you can download and print out also and you can use them for your preparations. Okay, and I strongly recommend our uh, handbook on chemical engineering. It's like a quick revision booklet. You will have all the formulas, small definitions, and if you have specific concept is required there, then everything is there. It's like 130, 140 page booklet and you will have every single concept of all the 10 core subjects. So you can prepare them in one go. Okay, just have a look. We have, like I said, we have already sold 800 plus copies. So I am confident that the product is doing fine in the market. Okay, so uh, now we have discussed about online platforms and offline platforms. So these are some of the specific booklets and uh, specific platforms that you can use for the gate preparations. And yes, I don't recommend Arihant. Arihant do a lot of mistakes. They have a lot of mistakes actually. They never improve their mistake actually. Still there, new edition, but the mistake still there. So I recommend go with these booklets. They are sufficient. Don't go with number of options. It will confuse you. Just go with one specific booklet. And last but not the least, please have one textbook for every single subject. Because when you go for the interview, at that time, they don't look into your like, okay, so you know the formula and this and that. They will ask you to drive the formula. I still remember my IIT Madras interview. They gave me a chalk and directly said like, uh, uh, write the equation for the, there's an ethylene ball and it's uh, uh, decreasing in size with time, right? So they, they directly asked like, just write a, write a material balance equation for this uh, ethylene ball. So I will say go with the conceptual books also, textbooks, okay? Don't just rely on videos on or on, on these gate questions because even if you will qualify the gate with good rank, you have to crack the interview also. So be prepared with concepts. So I recommend one textbook for every single subject, just one. For example, master, mass transfer. 
okay you can go with the triple you can go with the pk datta anyone you want okay but choose at least one booklet for every single subject okay so these were the resources that are available now uh, last but not the least because this video is about present means how you are preparing okay so while you are preparing you have to remember few things okay uh, as you can see the, this video here the link here for this is, is, will be in the description box so in this video we discussed about what type of things people uh, miss while they are preparing for the gate exam the first thing is you have to know how to use the virtual calculator so always use virtual calculator when you are solving any numerical questions because what happens when you go in the coaching uh, sorry uh, go in the real exam the final exam in february then you will realize that how much stress is there and at that time if you will be slow in, in operating the calculator then you might have a lot of trouble you will waste a lot of time also so please learn and get habit of using the virtual calculator second one is that you must have to make a habit of that how can you go through the whole paper within 5 minutes maximum 10 within 5 minutes so you just have to scroll the whole paper like in the gate exam there is a separate option for that one where you can see the whole paper also so you must know like how to just scroll the whole paper just see okay okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's an average paper or is it numerical type paper or is it conceptual paper you have to make an idea so you must have to make that habit also because you are going to attend the mock test right so you have to learn that habit through the mock test itself don't try these things during the exam because these things will waste a lot of time so you have to start from now on so that's why i'm saying like while you're preparing get the habit of virtual calculator get the habit that can you go through the paper within 5 minutes and last one is that how to attempt the paper see a uh, paper is of two parts one is the aptitude based and the second one is the conceptual based including mathematics right so we have 10 question for this 55 questions for the second part now you have to understand like people usually always start with question number 1 that's their problem they always start with question number 1 and that's the aptitude one and they start doing mistake from the question 1 and by the day, by the time they will finish aptitude first they waste half an hour the things that can be done in 10 minutes they wasted half an hour on that one second they will lose lot of confidence because you never prepare for the aptitude nobody prepare nobody invest time in preparing for the aptitude they just go with the, okay okay i mean we already have passed out 12 class pass out so we can attend the aptitude that's not a big deal so people don't usually prepare for the aptitude they go they always prepare for the conceptual but they attempt the aptitude first so if you are really good in aptitude then start with the aptitude else make a habit that i all i will always start my question, uh, paper with the numerical type question the conceptual questions not the aptitude okay so generate this habit so whatever the way you are preparing or attempting the paper in the mock test the same way you have to appear in the final exam also in the main exam at that time you can't change the format okay so let's say you are right now you are preparing you are attempting the mock test uh, through the conceptual question but at the time of main paper you start with the aptitude don't do these mistakes please make a habit of these three things first virtual calculator second uh, can you finish the whole paper within 5 minutes and third is that how you going to attempt the paper you have to make that habit okay some people say i will start with the mass transfer question let's say i am good with mass transfer so i will definitely go with the mass transfer i will try to search okay this is mass transfer okay that can so because what happens if you can initially solve the easy question i will give confidence that will save time and energy give you confidence you can sort out the questions one by one okay so these are three things that you have to remember and all these things will come in the present video okay so i think uh, <clears throat> that's it for this video and uh, wish you all the best in your preparation and see you soon in the next video